Before we start this video, I just wanted to mention that 90% of you who watch this channel haven't yet subscribed, so if you enjoy the content, please do me a favour and hit the subscribe button. With that being said, welcome to another instalment of Harry Potter Theory. In this video, we'll be discussing wizarding children and what they do before they start attending Hogwarts. We know that children start at Hogwarts at age 11, so what do they do beforehand? Do they attend regular muggle school? To kick things off, let's have a look at why it is that children start Hogwarts at 11. The answer to this is that the schooling system in Harry Potter is based off of one form of the British schooling system. In one track of British schooling, primary school covers ages 5 to 11, where secondary school covers ages 11 and up. Because Hogwarts is modelled on a typical secondary school with boarding, it makes perfect sense that admission would start at 11 years old. I would imagine that an 11 year old child, though still young, would be able to more easily grasp complicated and conceptual formats of magic. Additionally, by age 11, the parents of these children would have had ample opportunity to prepare them for magical school. It would be deeply irresponsible to send a problem child to a magical school, and this ensures they already have a certain level of discipline, at least in most cases. Hogwarts is riddled with all sorts of students, ranging from muggleborns to half-bloods to purebloods. And while there are many purely magical families who send their children to Hogwarts, we mustn't forget about the Muggle families. Hermione, for example, is the child of two Muggles, so their approach to educating her may be different than that of a pureblood family, like the Malfoys. Throughout the books and the films, it appears that most of the one carriers at Hogwarts, who come from non-Muggle families, have no idea about the Muggle world. This implies that they never went to any sort of Muggle school before starting at Hogwarts. They have no grasp of Muggle culture. Similarly, Muggleborns that are new to Hogwarts wouldn't have much of a grasp on magical culture, as their parents wouldn't have ever had any exposure to it. This breaks up the initial question of what wizarding children do before attending Hogwarts into two separate questions. What do Muggleborn children do before attending Hogwarts, and what do wizarding children do before attending Hogwarts? I'm going to be providing independent answers to both of these, but first let's look at what JK Rowling said when she was asked this same question. They can either go to a muggle primary school or they're educated at home. The Weasleys were taught by Mrs. Weasley. While this doesn't give us a whole lot of information, there is more on this topic mentioned on JK Rowling's website. It states the following. They are, as many of you have guessed, most often home educated. With very young children, as you glimpse at the wizards camp before the Quidditch World Cup in Goblet of Fire, there is the constant danger that they will use magic whether inadvertently or deliberately, they cannot be trusted to keep their true abilities hidden. Even Muggleborns like Harry attract a certain amount of unwelcome attention at Muggle schools by regrowing their hair overnight, and so on. Bearing this information in mind, we can safely deduce that the majority of children, Muggleborn or not, are homeschooled. In fact, all wizarding children that come from wizarding families would be homeschooled until their time at Hogwarts. The only exception to this rule would be some Muggleborn children. Both Hermione and Harry attended regular Muggle schools before they started at Hogwarts, and the only reason for this is that they were raised by Muggles. However, I would also imagine that Muggle-born children who began exhibiting uncontrolled magical behaviour at a young age would no doubt be kept away at home by their parents. So long as it didn't become a problem, I really don't see any reason why they wouldn't be able to attend a regular school. Because Hogwarts doesn't teach any Muggle subjects, I would imagine that in the years before they turn 11, they are taught all of the foundational Muggle subjects. This would include things like science, maths, English, etc. By the time they get to Hogwarts, there is definitely already an expectation that they know how to read, write, and at least do some form of math. So to answer the question posed at the beginning of the video, before starting at Hogwarts, wizarding children mostly spend their days at home with their families, being taught the need-to-know subjects that will give them a proper foundation before embarking on their journey into a magical school environment. And that's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. Did I miss anything? If so, please let me know down in the comment section below. Until next time, you're Wizard Harry.